Okay, everybody. So um, it has been already a tough day. I started from uh, Lead Bourg Saint Pierre and uh, I climbed to the Col du Grand Saint Bernard. And now I, I'm doing um, a different thing. I'm not doing Col des Chevaux, Pas de Chevaux, and uh, Col du Bastillon as you should normally do on the number six. I know it uh, by heart, let's say, <laughs> these two passes. So, because I already did uh, 1000 meter plus, 15 kilometer, I will go, I'm in it Italy now, uh, right behind the Pass Grand Saint Bernard, and I will go to uh, Pas des Fenêtres, and it will help me to maybe push until Champé. But this means I will nearly be at a 40 kilometer day. And you've got here uh, Col des Bastillons, which is the normal route to come down to the Lac des Fenêtres. I shortened today, as I said, to try a 40 plus kilometer stretch down the valley to Champé. On the pass, we passed again uh, in Switzerland. Uh, so there you have Italy. We are in Switzerland. Switzerland is this way. And there is France. <laughs> we are really at a tree corner. <laughs> So I'm now on a, on a road stretch. This is certainly why uh, ultralight material is very interesting. My legs have now one month of walk, hike, and uh, I feel pretty in shape. Even if I have some injuries, they still hold on. And I really dialed my way to carry food too. I never go over uh, two days of food, never. Now I just have my evening meal, some snacks bars, uh, breakfast, and I will see in the next village, find something. So I don't stress myself to, to carry three, four days, except if I have to, because I know there is not that much villages or so on. So I might be around eight and a half kilo with the backpack now, uh, including the food and the water. But I don't negligate, I don't miss to, to eat really. For example, uh, except my, my breakfast, my dinner, I also had uh, three Cliffs bar today, so it's quite uh, quite a lot. But I need I need fuel, so I just eat. If I see uh, like a bar or a small village, I will eat uh, two. Um, how to say tarte aux fruits, uh, like apricot uh, cakes or so on. And you go. There are pluses and minuses being ultralight or light let's say because I'm not uh, super super ultralight but there are some great moments <laughs> very nice too to be in the shade of the forest on 
uh, calm footpath to walk but to be able to, to relax simply without always being on a hard and technical and alpine so it's very I welcome it very much <laughs> I appreciate it This is an avalanche zone. Everything is uh, destroyed, uh, taken down. is quite uh, magical there is a, a very nice ambience <coughs> smells mystery <laughs> okay guys I'm arriving 42 something kilometers I'm going uh, in a hotel tonight <sighs> see you tomorrow Okay, let's optimize this. It was food resupply morning, three days more or less. I will be heavy again. <laughs> the next uh, stretches, they are not uh, villages really, or I will be at least three days without really uh, resupply possibility. After this uh, tremendous day yesterday, it's time now to take the road again. I'm feeling okay, but I have to forget about uh, feet pain still, <laughs> already. <laughs> so today I will do probably one and a half stretch, meaning around the 25, something like this, 22, 25. So Champelac is left and I am in that, the direction of uh, Lac de Mosson, Emosson Lake. Pretty steep climb all the way. Wow. This is a fantastic view we have on the entry and beginning of the valley. Valley. I'm coming a 600 kilometer east, coming this way. Still 100 kilometer in the mountains to go. 
the feeling you can you can get after so many efforts, so many fights and so many ups and downs, not only on the terrain but also uh, for the, the mindset. When you start to feel the arrival, this is something incredible. It will have be around 800 kilometers for me this uh, summer within one and a half month. So it is, I'm very happy about this, very happy about the, the achievement. I'm not over, there is still five days, so I have to be careful not to to get an injury or, or else. Anyway, I'm feeling wah, strong and happy and most of all, I'm feeling resourced. I'm replenished. This is the most important. The nature gives you such a, a strong power. It is fantastic. Paradise, paradise. Okay, I just crossed uh, Col de la Forcla, 30 minutes to Trian, and then let's see how shaped I am, because the, the mount in front of me is quite uh, massive and vertical. Well, I passed uh, Trian, and instead to, to sleep here, it is a usual stop here of the, the trail. I will still climb two hours, uh, two hours 30. It's about uh, 800 meter climb. Quite steep. What is left of the very sick Glacier du Trian? Le Grand Muvran. And this is Barrage, Barrage des Mossons. Uh, tomorrow I will finish to go down, go to the barrage and jump over there where you have Dent du Midi behind there. Okay, now I found the water. I packed uh, three liters. This is good for cooking, have a, a bit of a shower. <laughs> and now let's find a place to bivouac, to place a tent. It's not always easy, eh? Pasta with uh, tuna fish, pesto, olives. I feel now extremely thankful for life again. I remember I had the same feeling 
several times but very strongly tonight and also on the uh, on the glacier this was also very very powerful I feel replenished nature is such a such a wonder and such a, a strength a power to to, to ah, just, I, don't, I don't know how to explain in, in English sorry <laughs> I mean the ability which nature has to empower yourself when you you can find your connection again with nature I believe in the cities in our jobs in the stress in the all these shitty worries of modern world and and we worry about material and so on and suddenly when you do long hikes like this one you you fall you fall again in the the very basics meaning you you eat you sleep you you are within nature you can feel you can breathe you 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 wake up with the sun and go down uh, with it too and uh, i mean and these these connections they they start again to to work properly with you and with your body and and all the rhythm is different that's so freaking crazy that we 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 miss a lot of it in our lives because of modern soci society and and uh, all this pressure and the, the everything is around money and and uh, stupid needs we have and such things so if you if you never did a long trail uh, a true hike or like this do it really because it is something so incredible one week two week is maybe what you need to to start to cut and then you enter a bit uh, uh, something different i believe um, it took me some days weeks to 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 really cut and enter in it and now i'm completely <laughs> i don't care about nothing anymore of uh, the real life or i mean it is real life this is actually real life all the rest is a bit of a of a messy story we invented <laughs> to ourselves <laughs> Allez, good night Fifty minutes to get ready, including breakfast. I'm getting better and better. <laughs> I can do faster, of course, but uh, it's already in a normal rhythm, let's say. It stopped raining, so the timing is perfect. I packed. Dum dum dum. Let's go out. Wipe the the water from the the outside. It is totally dry inside. On program today, 
a steep uh, descent now, not very long, and then a very hard way up to the barrage. Then along the lake, and first pass, then second pass, then uh, Lac de Salanf. Uh, some strong rains are coming back. There is uh, the border with France and this is the valley, if you continue you will reach uh, Chamonix a bit further. I reached the uh, Emosson barrage and lake, it is a very nice place. Although a bit cloudy today, I joined a friend. It was actually a total chance we met up there in the, in the bar to have a coffee. So we will share some miles today together. It is a, it is a nice, nice thing, <laughs> interesting. Barberin Pass. My aim for today, my first pass of today. Well, It's nice actually, the wind is pushing me from behind, that's perfect. Woo! Dinner time with Julien and Alex, my Hi. today's uh, adventure friends. And we are now uh, having the meal, noon meal. We just hope no rain until we finished. It's a bit chilly, a bit windy. So we found a kind of a, let's say, hole in the ground. And they are doing Fucking hot dogs! <laughs> <laughs> I never, I never, I never saw this in uh, Alpine area. <laughs> Look at this. You got to make yourself at home yeah. in order to feel good. Enjoy it. That's crazy. Hot dogs. Wow. But we forget the um, fried onions. Uh, so it's <laughs> it's all. We'll have to deal with it. That, that's fantastic, really. Jet oil, pas énorme. Hot dog. Hop. Je te fous la moitié de ce que j'ai. J'ai plus grand chose. C'est génial.
Será piscin, para piquín. Lac de Salanfe. Hi there. Hello. Ça on voit pas là. Ah, c'est bien là. Ouais. So, 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 uh, it was a very beautiful day with a very beautiful uh, icy rain at the end. Nothing really harsh, I mean, it was short, a bit cold, and it's over. <laughs> and tonight it is um, Gratin Dauphinois, Saucisse à rôtir, uh, Lardon, <laughs> and, and uh, Raclette à gogo. Okay, let's go. <laughs> Ciao. Vive le vent, vive le vent, vive le vent, Oh la la! Alors là, il pleut, hein? Alors là, on se le prend. Ouais. Je suis pas dans la merde. Ouais. Je suis pas dans la merde. <rire>